Hey everyone, welcome back to Keeping Up with the Chaldeans. I'm Anthony Toma, Junior Binu. We have uh, Steve Mansour here from Inc. Detroit uh, Clothing Company. Yep. How you guys doing? What's going What's up, on, Steven? Stevie? How you doing, buddy? Thanks for having me on. Thanks Good. for being on. Yeah, Thanks no for agreeing to be on here. I appreciate it. So let's talk a little bit about Inc. Detroit. Tell sure. us uh, how it started, where it started from, the idea. So Inc. Detroit uh, was formed back in uh, 2005, and uh, my partner Paul actually was a uh, graphic uh, designer, mm -hmm. and um, he had all these ideas. Uh, my background is... Um, has been in the apparel and clothing business for over 20 plus years. My family has been in the business for over 40 years. So he kind of wanted some uh, help with basically assisting him as far as growing a brand. So we kind of met and um, he's got his skill set. I've got mine and it's kind of taken off from there. So here mm -hmm. we are. And who's Paul? Paul who? Paul Marcial. Okay. Um, he's, uh, I've known him for almost 20 years now. Just okay. we've met through mutual friends and um, it's kind of just a good partnership. That's nice. And who? What? What part of the company are you responsible for, and what part of the company is he responsible? So he for? handles all the graphics. Um, I come up with some of my own ideas. Obviously, I'm not. That's not my skill set. So you know, I put it down on paper. He kind of puts it together. Mm -hmm. um, so he handles that aspect. I handle all the sales um, and marketing um, and the networking aspect as far as getting the product into stores. Uh, but hand in hand, we work together um, as well as doing like pop up events, which we do about 40, 40 a year. Okay. And um, our product is sold in about 55 retail stores um, from Detroit all the way up to Mackinac Island. What's a pop-up event for people to, in, out there that don't know? So a pop-up event is um, just another format of opening and clothing a store within a couple of days. So, you know, traditionally right now, you know, people have brick and mortar stores. Um, pop-ups basically give you the ability to set up a location for one or two days, um, obviously get the brand exposure and kind of promote it to your audience uh, yeah. where they can come basically buy right on spot. So right now we set up an Easter market every Sunday. Oh, nice. um, that's going through the end of August. So we set up um, in Shed 3 from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. every Sunday. That's great. And then uh, this coming weekend we're going to be at an event in Northville. It's called Buy Michigan Now. Um, that's basically kind of like a mini Arts Beats and Eats, and that's uh, Friday through Sunday. In downtown Northville? Yep. Oh, cool. cool. People yep. can check you out over there. That's so we've awesome. been We've been doing that event for about five years, and it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty successful event. So nice. 20 years ago, you, um, you were, I mean, 20 plus, your family's been in the, uh, the clothing industry and stuff. What brought the passion on your way to start this business, and what was the first step to get Inc. Detroit launched? Uh, the passion came from obviously just seeing my dad obviously hands on with uh, what he was doing and, and growing um, our store. Uh, so they, my dad and my uncle basically formed the company back in 1976. Mm -hmm. And at that time, um, the, the name of the company is Donna Sachs. And at that time, there was no leather um, and fur retail uh, stores that existed in the malls. And Fairlane Mall was being built in Dearborn. So my uncle approached my dad at that time and they, they ended up opening up that store. And then from there, they expanded to almost, I think at one time, we had about 21 retail stores uh, throughout Michigan as well as Ohio. Wow. So just being involved in the family business, obviously day to day, you know, I kind of learned that business. And, um, you know, one aspect of this business is, you know, it's, it's not as difficult with, with having to have to go overseas and, you know, deal, do the buys. And right. it's kind of yeah. all uh, centrally located here in Michigan. So... It's, it's a little bit of an easier process. It's cool. And you do all your sourcing yourself? Is that who you handle everything for the uh, product? Or, or do you have other people that actually do all the brand sourcing for you? Guys? No, I actually I do it all myself. Okay. So, um, you know, obviously I know my customer base, you know, what quality blanks that they like. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's all based upon history of sales too. We, we do go from traditional t-shirts to, you know, purchasing. Oops, sorry. Um, it's all right. We do a lot of ladies' crop sweatshirts now. That's kind of a trendy fashion thing yep. uh, that uh, a lot of females are buying. So <clears throat> it really depends on the um, the time of the year um, and you know what people are interested in. Because yeah. obviously fashion changes every day now, unfortunately. Oh, right. yeah. So you have socks, hats, mugs. Yep. So we have um, the um, – Baby we've got, we've got Yeah. We've got uh, infant, toddler, youth. Mm -hmm. uh, we do adult T-shirts. We do caps. Uh, we do coffee mugs. We do socks. Uh, we also have these bottle openers here on the, t the table right here. <clears throat> so they're actually magnetic. Uh, you can put them on your refrigerator. So there's a magnet on the back of that. Yep. And there's a magnet where it catches on the bottom there. So we actually have a design patent on uh, the mitten shape bottle opener. 
And currently right now, we just got into uh, Ace Hardware stores, about 42 stores in Michigan. Uh, they're carrying this product right now. And then this product is also sold at um, West Elm in downtown Birmingham as well. Nice. Cool. Nice. So you're talking about your your um, families. Let's go into that for a second and see how the passion came to evolve into this here. Mm-hmm. Um, I remember seeing growing up, Donna Sachs was all over. I mean, it was in a lot of the malls and what have you. I also found out that you guys were um, one of the first to carry one of the strongest brands that came out of um, Detroit at the time, Pelly Pelly. Yep. Or is that my saying it right? Yeah, or, Mark Buchanan Pelly. Yeah, Pelly, Mark yep. Buchanan Pelly Pelly. Um, I ran into the gentleman not too long ago. He was an old uh, Mark Buchanan. Yeah, yeah. J- uh, Jewish, short Jewish yep. guy, yep. Um, and was talking. He said uh, you guys were the first ones to take his product on in the mid 70s yeah so my dad actually my dad and my uncle were at a uh, trade show and they actually saw him sitting down with his at the time um with his wife and uh all they carried was all he made it was leather ties that's it that's all he oh, made wow. at the time and uh, my uncle told him you need to make a complete set you should do leather pants leather blazer leather ties and he kind of took their advice and um at the time we were up. basically his first customer <laughs> and he went probably from making leather ties to being an international company probably grossing um, in words between 50 to 100 million dollars at one time back then yeah. back then yeah. yeah yes it made a comeback a little bit in the last couple of years uh P- Pelly did i've seen it back being worn again throughout metro Detroit yeah and stuff. it has um obviously everything becomes challenging in this market because you know as um as a manufacturer basically what happens is you know, you start losing your retail accounts because retailers aren't buying as much. So then the the manufacturer has to go direct online to the consumer. So obviously that hurts the retailer too. Sure. Mm-hmm. So it's 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 a it's a sticky situation, but you know, uh, it's evolution. Yeah. It's, it's evolution just, exactly. Yeah. Trends, things yeah. changed. Yeah. Things you got, changed. You got to stick with uh, with the trends and. Um, sure. And so you moved a lot of your your uh, presence online, right? So where where do they where can people find you online? So look. The website is inkdetroit.com. Okay. Um, I've got simple. another brand called thegreatlakestate.com. That's our Michigan apparel. Uh, that product is promoted more throughout northern Michigan. Okay. Um, you can find that in South Haven, Grand Rapids, Mackinac Island. Um, we're in Alpena, Michigan. So really depending on the, the product that you're looking for, um, you can find that in, tho- in those areas. But the, um, the website is thegreatlakestate.com, which is our Michigan stuff. And then our Detroit brand is inkdetroit.com. Nice. So we see that you have a lot of products here. Yep. Um, some, I don't know, was this your state? Is this your staple? Or what was the staple that started Ink Detroit? Anything that's on here that would? Uh... Uh, I would say no. Okay. Um, as, a, as a business owner, you think everything that you create in the beginning is going to work. Yeah. Un- mm-hmm. Unfortunately, uh, my advice to everybody is uh, start small with a couple of designs. Sure. And go from there. But um, at that time, we probably introduced more designs that we should have obviously some were successful some weren't right um, but this one that you you basically touched on right there yeah um, that one kind of blew up we had a um, one of our customers that is a fan of ours on Facebook ended up buying that t-shirt at a uh, boutique in Clarkston hold it up for a minute. as sure. she was um, going to a Aer- the Aerosmith concert uh, where Slash was pro- performing from Guns N' Roses and uh, she ended up giving it to him backstage as a gift, and he wore it. He wore it and went back on stage. And from that point on, that night, we got a, a decent amount of sales from that. And um, obviously, the the recognition with you know an, an artist, that's pretty awesome. international Huge. artist wearing it, yeah. obviously helped. That's usually the kickstart. Well, bef- before all that, before you even had a kickoff, let's invest a little time into. Um, some of the growing pains that you went through with this business and what <clears throat> helped you overcome the growing pains of this clothing line, if you had any? Um, everyone has growing pains in business. I, oh, obviously, yeah. nothing's nothing comes easy. I think the most important thing, and I think uh, one thing that I'm good at is not giving up. Um, obviously, that and um, consistent follow-up. I think in, in today's world, you know, when somebody hears no, then they just they go on to the next thing. Sure. I've heard plenty of no's. So I think my uh, my strength is follow up with our retail stores um, and then our customers, our customer service. We have a five out of five star rating. And I, I, may, I make sure that when I get an email from a customer that's either not happy or wants an exchange or ha- needs a different size, that I'm following up immediately. That's awesome. Nice. And uh, 
right now you guys are still currently as a family operating Donna Sachs. Is that still going on right now? Yes. So my, yeah. my uncle retired. It's my, my dad is still involved at 82 years old, yep. which and I think keeps yourself? him going. Myself, yeah. I handle uh, more of the website. Uh, my brother Marvin um, handles the buying and then the in-store um, you know, business. Nice, nice. What's um, So the question is, um, what would be next for Inc. Detroit? And um, where does the empire go from here? So we're actually in the process of uh, working with Ace Hardware. Um, obviously, as a business, you want to grow, not just t to stay local. You want to expand in other states. Um, mm -hmm. So the bottle opener that you saw, that's the mitten shape, this one? Um, is currently obviously just in Michigan because it's the shape of Michigan. Yeah. Sure. So this product on, the, on my left um, is more of a bottle-shaped item, which can be um, marketed nationwide. So we're, we're going to be working with Ace Hardware hopefully soon to roll that out into all their stores across the country. Cool. cool. Uh, that's the plan. Um, some of our Michigan products actually sold currently right now in Wisconsin because um, in certain parts of Wisconsin, you still get, the um, obviously, the Great Lakes. Yep. Mm -hmm. So just through Internet search, we, we ended up picking up a customer actually reached out to us. Um, it's called Adventure Vacation, and they carry more of our Michigan-related products. They're open seasonally from um, May through August. That's great, man. So you have this downtown boxing gym youth program yep. here. I guess you're, you want to tell us a little yeah. bit about that? So downtown boxing gym is an organization in Detroit. Uh, they actually help um, kids. Um, it's an after school program. Um, it's, it, their concept really is books before boxing. So what they do is they actually bring in kids. It's more of an educational thing, but the, the, the boxing basically teaches them discipline and uh, we actually produce all their product as well as doing the fulfillment for them. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Yep. And then this other shirt here, you were explaining us a little bit uh, what was involved with licensing yeah. and all yeah, that with Yeah, so that. Uh, we, we basically produce and manufacture and distribute the um, T-shirt the that says, Say Nice Things About Detroit. Uh, mm -hmm. That was created by a woman by the name of Emily T. Gale. Um, if you just search Emily T. Gale, you'll see the history that she has behind her. She's a... Uh, Detroiter that was that grew up in Detroit and her family had a general store in Detroit and they ended up closing back in the 80s but she created that slogan and actually had that um, plastered on the side of the building so everybody that came to Detroit back in the day that went to her building actually saw that slogan mm. and she actually produced that item and uh, sold it to retail stores she currently lives in Hawaii now and I met her about three four years ago at a pop-up event downtown and she's looking for somebody to kind of help her distribute, manufacture, and um, get her product into more retail stores. So we actually have the rights to distribute that product for her. Great. Along some of the stuff that you've done licensing for this here and partner up in some type of program with this here, mm -hmm. I see some of your stuff has the trademark logo behind yep. it, and I know what it takes to get some <laughs> yeah. of that stuff done. If you want to explain to some of the guys, I see Detroitish here has got its own registered. I love Detroit is yep. also another branded. So. so we have multiple trademarks that are registered. I Heart Detroit is one of them. Uh, Detroitish uh, is another one. And, um, you know, trademark, I suggest obviously working with a um, trademark attorney. Sure. Um, originally in the beginning, obviously we tried to do it ourselves. Um, we we did we're able to register it, but uh, my recommendation is you know attorney. speak with a trademark attorney, mm -hmm. make sure it's done the right way. Do you have one you could recommend? Yeah, yeah, I can give you. Do you want that information? Yeah, around? that'd be good. Yeah, yeah. Sure. So the name the the trademark attorney we we use is Arnie Weintraub. He's uh, based in Southfield. He's probably been doing trademark law. I'm assuming for at least thirty plus years. Um, and he was referred to me by somebody in our community. So obviously I trust that person and um, he's done a great job. He got the job yeah, done. Yeah, he got that yeah. exactly. That's so awesome. we actually owned, we registered, <clears throat> we filed a trademark for I Heart Detroit back in 2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Detroitish um, was a item, we sold a shirt called Kiss Me, I'm Detroitish for St. Patty's Day. Yep. That kind of took off. So, you know, I, I said, you know what, let's just try the slogan Detroitish. And um, it's kind of taken off. It's... It's kind of more of a play for people that live in the suburbs, right. um, as well as if you've got family out of town. So, you know, it's comical. People laugh at it, but mm -hmm. it's one of our top selling SKUs right now. Beautiful. So do you have um, people you'd like to shout out within your organization, uh, whether it be coworkers 
uh, family members or people that you do business with. Anyone. Honestly, I just yeah. want to thank the community actually because there's um, you know there's been a handful of um, Chaldean boutiques obviously that supported me for the last six years. Um, want well, to shout those yeah. out? Any of a few of them? One, one of them obviously doesn't exist anymore. Eden Revolution, which is owned by Natasha Robbins, she carried our product. Yep. Um, Lexi Drew for sure. Kevin Kajbu supported our product. Um, our, our product right now is actually in Royal Dutch's um, over on Lone Pine and Orchard Lake Road. Great. And um, just in the last month, we've done tremendous numbers with, with them, and um, I'm getting good feedback. So, Great. That's awesome. Thank you. We'll keep up the good work. Even Thanks. Royal Dutch's, they, um, they, they're a pretty solid place, too. Oh, yeah. So being in West Bloomfield and being there for that long, got oh, yeah. them credit, too. Yep. So it's awesome. Any uh, advice, words, thing you'd like to give the uh, the youth or the generation next to come, or anybody in, in, in our in our age group to say what's to move forward with this if they wanted to do it, or could they reach out to you? If so it, we a big segment of our business actually is this is just one part um, as far as creating the graphics and um, distributing the product as well as selling online. But uh, another segment is basically we do help uh, business owners with private labeling. You know, if you need product for your store and you want to brand it with your name, we definitely do that. Um, currently, right now, we do uh, stuff with Citizen Yoga. We do all their merchandise. Mm, uh, right. Pure Bar Studios, we do a lot of stuff with them. Uh, we do a lot of stuff with nonprofits. So if you're if you're looking for, you know, a T-shirt to sell in your, your business or just staff shirts, we, we do that as well. And I can assist you with that um, in any way. Mm, Great. Awesome. Yeah. Great. Anything else we want to touch on or anything that we may have missed or you'd like to – Get out there and let people know. Um, just check out our website. Uh, if you're on Instagram, check us out. It's Inc. Detroit, I-N-K Detroit. Uh, we post new product releases, any events that we're participating in as well, and um, any promotional items we've got you know, coming up in the next quarter. So, Are there any other events you want to we want to promote? I know yes. You so on so um, this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we're going to be at um, Buy Michigan Now Festival in Northville. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to be at the Woodward Dream Cruise. We're gonna, I've got three locations set up. Uh, that's going to be August 17th. Uh, the one spot is going to be at 13 in Woodward in Memorial Park. Uh, the other one is going to be at 12 and a half in Woodward on the east side of Woodward. I don't know the exact address. And then the other one is going to be at um, the Barbat organization has a property uh, just north of 14 Mile on the west side of Woodward. We're going to be set up there. Nice. Great. And then after that will be Arts Beat Sinitz. That's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. That's going to be Labor Day. Cool. So the, the pop events continue through September. So if you just follow us on Instagram, we always post, obviously, where we're going to be at. Awesome. Cool. And that's your handle on Instagram was did uh, Inc. Detroit? Yep, I-N-K Detroit. Cool. Um, and then the other one, if, you, if you're interested in Michigan apparel, it's the Great Lakes State. Um, and that one, actually, we're almost at 90,000 organic followers. Great. Mm. So that one is... Um, you know, doing really well. Stuff. And we're going to be posting all this because I know you sent me all the links and yep. everything. So we'll make sure we'll get yep. this up with your interview. And if, if anybody's interested in going online and shopping, I did create a um, promo code. The, the code is Chaldean. Uh, it's good for the next 30 days and you get 20% uh, off um, if you spend, uh, I believe it's $30 or more. Great. Right, thank yep. you, man. Great. You're welcome. Appreciate, appreciate that. that. You appreciate got it. that, man. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Cool. Cool. Well, anything else we want to wrap up before we... Uh, that's it. I think we did a we covered about everything. I appreciate it. Awesome. Right, brother. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome Thank you. for the great work, bud. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.